Hello Mr. YouTube, this is Mark Say from 87. Now, I'm going to stop my political philosophy because I have recently found out that I'm not getting any views at all, so. Um, that's going to stop because I've only got a few views um, on that. Unless you guys want to see more of that, just let me know. <coughs> But now, on to something different. As you know, for the people that have watched my videos, um, I'm a gamer, um, and I love my games. They're amazing. But this video is a video about the PlayStation 4. Uh, and my thoughts really on it. Um, now the PlayStation 4 like, um, was announced to be released in 2014 originally. I, like this was a originally, um, and it's coming out this Christmas. So it's probably, it's probably not that um, much thought forward, but it's uh, coming out this Christmas. Now, <clears throat> I have some bones to pick for Sony, because I have been a valued, uh, a valued, like, a customer since the fucking PlayStation 1. And every year, well, not, ev uh, not every year, so every console that they've released, they at least have some pictures. Um, to 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 um, for uh, prospective buyers to go and see the fucking con uh, console in its finished form. Now, <clears throat> I don't know whether this is an omen or not, because if anyone bought the PlayStation Three, they know, or maybe they don't know, but uh, they should know. That they there was a um, bug going around, much like the uh, Red Ring of Death that Microsoft experienced with the Xbox. Uh, this uh, non uh, anomaly was called the Yellow Light of Death. Very imaginative. The game, the gaming community is full of imaginative. Uh, <coughs> Uh, phrases to use for problems. Um, sorry for my sarcasm. Uh, <laughs> it's been the second time I've had to upload this video because my camera has fucked up um, several times. But yeah, um, back to my original point. Now, <clears throat> as I said, the PlayStation experienced the difficulty for the Yellow Ring of Death. This was due to the fact of the um, ha uh, the fan not being able to cool down the machine quick enough. Considering that the um, original machine had a big massive fan in the middle of it to cool down the motherboard, I don't understand why this happened. But it happened. And I had to use a fucking coolant on my CPU. Which is annoying. In the meantime, I bought a new PlayStation. Enough about my runs. Um, but anyway, yeah, this was due to PlayStation rushing, uh, rushing it out of production because uh, the Xbox had already been released a year previous. This was quite funny because um, because. Um, the PlayStation was in production for quite a bit longer, if I remember right. I don't have the exact figures, so I may be wrong. Uh, but you can comment and say how wrong I am, if I am, but I don't think I am. Um, yeah, <laughs> Sony had a lot longer to produce. Um, um, PlayStation and Microsoft did with the Xbox. Now, um, 
considering that we haven't even seen the fucking show yet, as I said, or if I haven't said, I'm sorry, I'm saying it now, um, of the damn PlayStation 4 is worrying, because it means that they haven't decided yet, or haven't at least decided what is going to be in the final product. We know about some important parts that are actually going to be in in in, in the final product, like the processor and things like that, and the graphics card, obviously. Um, but we don't know all the bells and whistles that will be accompanying that. We know it from what's <coughs> what um, uh, Sony said to us in the in the <coughs> uh, press uh, release a couple of months ago. Well, press conference, I should say, or conventional, whatever it was, at 3 a.m. In which I stayed up, expect, <coughs> um, expecting to see a damn thing, and it didn't materialise. Um, now that was a couple of months ago, and yeah, I haven't seen a, a final product. This is, uh, as I said before, this is quite worrying. Um, as I said, it's a show that uh, Sony is being very indecisive as to what they're actually going to um, do for a final product. We've seen a lot of concept and um, uh, uh, software uh, in 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 this press release that happened a couple of months ago, or, or or sort of stream. It was a stream. I don't know why I'm calling it a press release. Um, yeah, and what it had in it was uh, quite impressive. But as we all know, the, pl uh, the PC market is well ahead of the console market because it's obviously having to, because, you know. Um, PCs generally perform a variety of things, um, but yeah, so that's one of the downfalls of the console market, um, which personally myself, I would like to see Microsoft quickly rectify, because I believe that people that are generally on consoles, this is not um, a, well, it will be a sweeping statement, but it's not intended to be, but it will be construed as such. As such. Um, uh, it's because P and people generally either can't or won't afford, uh, or won't um, be, uh, be able to afford uh, such an expensive piece of machinery or it's a or it's a, or or it's the fact that they don't really want to spend that kind of money, understandably. But it's for this reason I think uh, the 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 two major rivals by Sony and Microsoft should really step up the game to deliver what they can. As as cheaply as they can, within reason, um, uh, um, as close as possible to what the current um, technology available is able to do. Uh, now, obviously, they're doing this to an extent, but then obviously making a few parts that are cheap, um, that are not not substandard, but are uh, like a couple of generations behind, if you like, um, because uh, to drive down the cost of production, this is a very sensible thing to do uh, if you're a company. But surely, um, uh, the the these these uh, pe uh, these companies can produce. Uh, up to a standard uh, 
such a console that is of the current standard of a PC, a top PC usage. Um, okay, they'll lose money initially, but over the uh, long term, they could accrue money as they do with um, with with games and licenses to games on their console. Now, you put, you're probably saying that um, marks like that's what the PlayStation did. Yes, they did, but they failed. And do you know why they failed? Because they fucking didn't get it out in time. And um, Microsoft then started to sort of pinch um, the exclusivity rights, which is the bloody natural cause of business. But, all I'm saying is that the, 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 the console market needs to seriously re-evaluate, re um, or the producers of uh, the console, shall I say, need to re-evaluate its, 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 its um, target audience, because uh, I think, in my opinion, again, this is my opinion, that shifted way too much to the casual market. <laughs> I mean, like, these people, like, obviously, I'm not going to go on the rant about casual gaming, because casual gaming is casual gaming. I mean, <laughs> my uncle, will, like, plays um, a bit of a wee now and again, or something like that, like, uh, you know, it's a bit of fun, it's a bit of fun for the family. But generally, their constant revenue stream is uh, the the, um, the hardcore gamers, if you will. I think I think certainly in Nintendo's case, they like obviously they're sort of aiming to go for that casual market. Uh, but I just think the other two rivals should stay out of it completely. And just let Nintendo have the casual gaming. Obviously, there's going to be more volume um, over the short term. Um, but in the, in the end, I think you know, we're going to have a richer community for it if they did that. But obviously, this is a disabled guy's rant about how the console market should be shaped and the PS4 in general um, they want to listen to a guy like me but it's worth a try, hey? Right, um, back to my general point yeah, um, they uh, didn't uh, let's see the PlayStation 4 at all which pissed me off considering that I stayed up until eventually 5 to see this damn thing um, but yeah, for the technology that's been announced in it, it's pretty good. I hope it's not going to be worth uh, what it, or not not worth that, but it priced at the ridiculous price the PlayStation 3 was. Um, if everyone remembers that, they can uh, they can like write mug on my face right now because. I stupidly went out and bought the console at £510 from John Lewis. Yes, John Lewis. Um, because there was no other retailer at the time that would, uh, that had, that had the PlayStation. That's how far I will go to go and get a PlayStation. Um, but I've sort of made a vow of it. If it's I don't know, if it's either four hundred sixty, then I won't buy it because it's just too expensive. But also, um, considering my rant before, um, I, I had about the um, how the console market is um, going to alienate the hardcore gamers. I think overall it's um, going to be a good buy. This is Monks 1882, 1887, sorry, signing out.